welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be talking you guys through all the books that I read in the month of May because you know I got to and I think May was pretty good month like I read a very decent amount of books and I'm pretty proud of myself I think all the books I read this month was like very good slash decent so I'm very excited to share them with all with you guys don't forget to subscribe and let's hop right in i actually made an entire video dedicated to this book but i thought i would mention it again just because it deserves it deserves me mentioning it like again and technically i did read this in may um i didn't even i didn't start it in april like i started this book in may but because i filmed that video like a little bit after may started I could have like justified putting that in there, but I had to put it, I have to put it in again and it is Court of Wings and Ruin. This book is just glorious and I've been waiting for this book to come out for a million years and it finally did and it was just the best thing ever that has happened to my life. It's just, oh, I just love this book so much and I think with some time, maybe like when the next book from the series comes out. I kind of just like want to reread this just for fun. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. If you never heard of this, it is by Sarah J. Mass. And what else can I say about it? It's a trilogy slash not a trilogy. It's like it's confusing. But basically, it is a fantasy book and it has fairies in it and it's beautiful. And the first book is a BD and the Beast retelling but the story goes way beyond that and if you have not read it like honestly you need to go read it and, you just like, yeah. and check out my um basically my entire discussion video on this book because i just had to make one because i had so much to say but i would like give this like five out of five stars 100 percent, basically it's my little baby the next book i read is i have like so many new releases that I read in the month of May, it makes me really proud. But like May was such a like good month. Legion, which is part of the Talon Saga by Julie Kagawa. Kagawa. And this, oh, this book is just like, look how beautiful the cover is. It is so glorious. And I think it came out in April, but I wasn't able to get around to reading it in April because I was rereading the Akatar, Akawar, Aka, Aka something series. I was rereading this book, so I didn't really have time to read Legion. It was kind of put in the back burner, but this month I got around to it and it was a great book. It's really interesting. I've never, it's like a YA dragon book. Really cool it's cool it has romance in it i love dragons i don't know about you but like i've always loved dragons that's why i love how to train your dragon because i love dragons i think this is like the fourth book and i think there's one more book coming out after this one basically it's just a dragon book it's set in like our modern world basically there are dragon hunters and there are dragons who can turn into humans so they're like half human, like half dragons. I don't know, I just think it's like the coolest thing. I mean, if you're not into dragons, then you might not be into it, but like, you know, I love, I love dragons. Um, and I love Julie Kagawa, Kagawa. Um, she wrote the Iron Face series and she also wrote, I think it's like the Eternal Cure series. I forgot what it's called, but it's like one of my favorite like vampire series, like go check that out if you haven't. This series I absolutely love. It's a really fun book. Well, it's not that fun because you know it's not contemporary but like it's a really fun book to read and just to like i don't know it's just really fun and i would give this like a like a i don't know like 85 86 percent you know it's not like my favorite book but it's a very very decent book and i'm i was very excited for it you know can you tell like everything is green and that makes me so happy i don't know why and then the next book i read super exciting and it is always and forever Laura Jean it's like a trilogy of contemporary romance books and they're like the cutest 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 YA contemporary books like ever to existed along <laughs> alongside you know like Lola and the French Kiss they're like even more relatable just because the main character is Asian so like it makes it more relatable for me I guess I mean I don't have any sisters 
but like yeah. there are three of them which makes it so much better and it follows the same character and you rarely get to see that in contemporary books like you never ever get to see like three part series of the same character and if you didn't know what the series is about it's about this girl named Laura Jean the first book is about her and how she always wrote these love letters to all her crushes and one day all her letters got sent out and it kind of follows that plot line and then the third book obviously follows a different plot line I don't want to ruin it anything if you guys haven't like read the first book you know or first say two books I loved it it was so funny it was so happy and it was like the perfect time to read it it's like now when summer's coming I'm like so in the contemporary mood I don't know if you can tell um just because like summer's coming whenever the sun comes out I want to be reading contemporary YA books like all the way like the fun cute ones not the really sad ones because I don't I'm not really into those I just absolutely loved it I give it like a hundred and ten percent it's one of my favorite contemporary series it's just gorgeous I'm just so happy the next book is I'm pretty sure most people's like anticipated book along with a court of Mr. Fury and it is Lord Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare and I know so many people have been just like super anticipated. I actually filmed an unboxing for this book because I was super excited. And it's just like, look how big it is. Like it is gigantic. And I think it just like makes me really happy when like books are gigantic. Um, and like they use like really thick paper and like big font. So like it makes the book extra gigantic. I just absolutely love it. And I think in my unboxing, I said that this was the LA skyline and uh, how wrong was I? It is the London skyline and Tower Bridge is right there. There's the shard. I'm such an idiot. This book was, oh gosh, I don't want to say anything that will ruin it for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't heard of like Cassandra Clare, I don't know what's happening, but basically she wrote like the entire Mortal Instruments series, Infernal Devices series, and now the Dark Artifices series. And you know, there's a TV show, Shadowhunters, and there's a new episode coming out tomorrow, or I guess like today for you guys who are watching this when I post this. And this one follows, what's her name? Emma and Julian. Okay, honestly, this book, I'm gonna say it, it's quite excruciating to read because it's just, it hurts me whenever I read this. And then the ending even hurts, hurts you even more. Like everything hurts when you read this, but obviously it's a beautiful, wonderful book. I'm so excited for the next one to come out because you know, things are gonna be happening. We gotta see some like different characters from all the different, oops, from all the different series come back and party with us, so it was a great time. I'm gonna give this 99%, not because the book itself isn't good, but because I have trouble reading. I had trouble reading this book because of its like multiple POV, multiple points of view, which I, I love multiple points of view because you get to see all the characters and kind of like how they think and their thought process, and it's wonderful, it really is, except I am that type of person who I'm like, very impatient sometimes so if you like switch points of views the only thing I will be thinking about when I'm reading the other person's like the next point of view is like what is happening to the other characters you know like I don't care about the new points of views that are being shown to me so I don't know if I'm making any sense and then once like I'm attached to like this person's storyline they're like nope let's move on to someone else but besides that, it was beautiful. And I know probably people who are more sophisticated than me are like, what is wrong with you? Maybe it's just like I was in a mood or something. I'm not sure. I feel like I just need to like read more multiple POVs um, just so I can like get used to them because I know when I read a lot of those books, then I'm a lot better at it. But like at the moment, this is like the only one that had multiple POVs. Basically, I read this book, it was beautiful. And it was wonderful and I like to hug it to sleep sometimes because you know it's my baby the next book I read is through to you is this through to you by Lauren Barnholt 
um, and it just looks like this. I got this book for maybe like 25 cents. I only had to pay tax for this because it was five dollars and then I got like a five dollar coupon so it was like 25 cents which is pretty dope. I bought this a while back and I just I haven't got around to reading it but like I said I've been in a contemporary mood so I was like okay I'm gonna read this. Can we talk about the title for a second because like why why do titles have to be like this? It's just like I don't understand. It's like if you whip this book in public, they're like, yeah, we know what she's reading. Um, which is why I didn't whip this book out in public. This was, I really liked this. Maybe it was just because I was in a contemporary mood that I liked it. But it was, I thought it was, it was very intriguing um, for me. It was like, it was a captivating book, I will say. It was very captivating. It was very frustrating at times though. Um, and I've read this like in a day. It was like super, super, super quick read. Um, but it was very, it was very captivating. There's just something about it. I don't know what it was. The, I want to like the male character in this book is so, I just, I didn't really like him. Definitely not a book boyfriend, okay? Like, no, I just, I know, I don't like the guy character. Like, the girl character, okay, she's kind of cool, but like, the guy character. But you, when you read it, you decide for yourself if you, if you like him. It's just like, what, you know, it's just like, I'm not a fan. Um, but it follows Harper and Penn. Harper's like this goody two-shoe, and like, Penn is like the bad boy, basically, with lots of problems. Um, like borderline too many problems which is probably why i don't like him it was a super quick read i did really enjoy it because like i said it was so captivating i don't know what i'd rate this like i'd probably give this like but i like read it in like one day like it was that like i sat there and i was like bawling my eyes out i don't know what i'd give it because like i honestly i kind of want to give this like a 90 percent because just because i like was very captivated by it it's definitely like worth a read if you're like oh i want to read something kind of frustrating but like really interesting at the same time <laughs> and of course this is a why do you even say that this is a ya romance contemporary i mean it's kind of obvious by the cover but i mean if you couldn't decipher that that's okay i'm telling you now and the last book i actually finished this yesterday so technically i didn't finish it in may but i started it in may so that's gonna count for something right right and it is the edge of everything by jeff giles 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 it's like a romance contemporary that is fantasy it's half set in this like fantasy world called it's like hell like hell they call it lowlands and then it's half set in just like our modern world it's very very interesting um to read about this i really really enjoyed the book it was really good but like at the same time it was really really weird but like when you first look at the book it looks like a romance contemporary like why contemporary like it literally doesn't look like anything but you are in this for a surprise when you read it. The like supernatural like fantasy part was really interesting, but at the same time it was very like jarring. The concept is really interesting. It's about this girl named Zoe and her father dies and she's like a caver, which apparently like people crawl into caves. I like I've never like heard of this basically. And it's like wow, that is so interesting. Like I personally would never go caving because like that sounds so scary. Like I can't even go on a hike. I don't know. I really enjoy this book. Like I said, it was really good. It was very like interesting and it was very different from any type of book I've ever read. The romance wasn't really the interesting part, I guess. Like it wasn't the most interesting part. I think the relationships between the characters was more interesting than the actual romance itself, which I actually really liked because it just, I felt like it gave it a little bit more something. I want to grade it like an 88. I don't know. I'm really bad at reading books. Like I honestly, like if you go on my Goodreads, everything is five stars because I'm just like, yeah, I liked it. If if I liked it, it's like five stars for me. I know, which is probably pretty bad, but I'm just like so generous. I'm like, yeah. That is everything that I read this month. It was really good. I think it was a really, really good reading month considering some of these books are really, really long. Um, but they were all really really good which I think why it was such a good month because if you had like a terrible book 
that like just drags on and on you're just like no girl i don't want to read you you know what i mean so yeah i'm really happy about it i'm happy about all the books i read i'm gonna be reading some more contemporary books so if you have any of those suggestions please leave them down below because i am always on the lookout for some more um especially since like it's the summertime and i'm really in the mood for it i think i read six books this month which is like really really good that's like a really really good month for me wow i'm so proud of myself <laughs> anyways so yeah comment down below what books you read this month how many books you read give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time bye